Why is a Calgary company building a giant underground radiator in Bavaria? The company Ever is based in the heart of the Canadian oil patch. A lot of its staff also come from the oil and gas industry, which means they bring a particular set of skills. Drilling, 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 and more drilling. The company is drilling deep underground to harness geothermal energy. The technology works like a sort of underground car radiator, absorbing heat from hot rock under the earth to generate heat and power. It's one of the most complex drilling projects in the world, and uh, I really wanted to be a part of that. Ever tested the technology in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, but their first commercial project is nearly 8,000 kilometers away in Germany. So how does that make sense? Germany does not have many natural resources. They have to import most. So at the same time, Germany has very high ambitions for decarbonization of their heating sector and the power sector. Germany is trying hard to get to net zero and it offers financial incentives for clean heat and power. But it isn't just about the environment. A lot of people in Germany still heat their homes with natural gas, which has to be brought in from other countries. That is expensive and it can also be a bit precarious. Think about the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which really upended the European supply of natural gas. That means in Germany, geothermal is also appealing because of energy security. We have no oil, we have no gas, <laughs> but we have geothermal energy. And so it's not the hardest decision to make because it's a very, very good solution to get affordable energy, secure energy, domestic energy and environmental friendly energy. Ever's project is being built in Gerritsried, which is a small town south of Munich. We spoke with people shopping in the downtown of Gerritsried on a Tuesday afternoon, and they said they think it's a good idea. I think it's uh, great that we, ha we are the first ones um, where it's um, happening, and um, it might be a possibility for our city um, to um, get bigger. It depends, I think, on the ground and how much heat there can be extracted, but generally I think it's a good idea. We need more and more energy uh, and oil and gas is not good for us, for the climate. And uh, I think this could be a possibility to avoid um, damage to, to our in environment. Okay, so that's Germany, but what are the odds that this technology might actually get put to use on this type of scale here in Canada? Some experts say it could be an uphill battle because in this country, the economics just don't make a lot of sense. Advantages of geothermal energy is that we don't create emissions, we don't disturb the landscape, uh, we don't create environmental issues. Uh, these are great advantages, but the market doesn't recognize these things. The market tends to just focus on the cost of electrical power and the cost of natural gas power. So geothermal energy always has to compete with other energy sources. And that's a tough competition in Canada because we have very cheap energy. Ever says that its first project is expensive, partly because it is the first one. But the company is hoping to drive costs down and eventually bring this technology back home to Canada. Oh, I don't hope. We will. It definitely will come back here. We're talking to people already and have been continuously. As soon as it makes commercial sense, we'll be doing that. For now, the company is focused on the European market, generating clean heat and power with skills from the Canadian oil and gas industry.